what do you think like worked in that show? And what do you think didn't work in that show? So I think one, it was it was a sensitive. It's, it still is a sensitive thing for Baltimore because I ran into that task force actually. Did you? Uh, like D did all of us. So like, yep. and they would just Are shake you good us with down. him? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Okay, yeah, cool. and they just um, I just want to bite my balls off. No, <laughs> no, he's good. Man. He's good. <laughs> but um, you know, where the drugs at? Where the money? Like, you know, what you got or whatever. And they didn't get all of them. Right. So it's like they still exist. And so exactly. even when the officer got killed, people were like, some police officers that I'm friends with messaged me is like, don't, don't uh, post anything. Or whatever they took, uh, you know, all the the video footage from the neighborhoods. They had like a certain neighborhood on lockdown yep. and, and like kept everybody quiet. So I was like, I ain't messing with that. Yeah, because like yeah, they yeah, come yeah. get you. It's too serious. It, yeah, it's, it was extremely raw, man. I mean, yeah. that was, I mean, if you think about it, that was 2018, and like it was funny because the first time I don't know if it's funny, but the first time you, you know I was a huge fan of D's. Yeah, because I read uh, his uh, M- most hated cop in Baltimore. Back oh yeah, Universal, yeah, yeah. Right, I read that like a year before, and I reached out to him, and I was like, and it wasn't only just that that story was so amazing, right? But I was just so taken with the fact that like. He went about that story with such empathy. He went. It wasn't just like this is the bad guy. I'm the good guy. I was yeah. the bad. It, it was. He just got the nuance. Yeah, I yeah. mean, as you know, it's so much yeah, more complicated dope. than that. And we are so much more alike than we are different. And that dude over there that you want to judge, that could be you in a yeah, different circumstance. Totally. And I just, I was just so taken with the piece and so taken that he wanted to dive into that character. Yeah. So I reached out to him. Like a fucking fangirl, dude. I was yeah. just like, man, because then <laughs> I, I love started him, yeah. I read the cook up, then I read these, and I was just like, dude, you that you are just it. And um, yeah, you know, I have this project I've been working on about uh, Shreveport, Louisiana. Been working on it for ten years. We're doing it uh, um, now um, with the same George Pelcanos and Ray yeah. Green who directed it. Um, but but I was like, D, I just want to be in your life. Like, what's up? And then like a year later, you know, I found myself on We Own the City with yeah. him. Like, you, I you love know. It with Wayne Jenkins, but we would, we would go and we would sit and we would talk to people in Baltimore. Yeah. And I just, a random person would go by and be like, Hey man, have you ever heard of Wayne Jenkins? And everybody, everybody, yeah. everybody, everybody knows yeah. what that is. Everybody knows. Yeah. It was Dee's birthday. Um, a few, three days ago. So I was just sending him messages, but I talked to him all the time. He helped me, uh, with my book and I brought you a copy too. And Thank you, brother. I really appreciate what, what that. On. But, uh, this is dope. And, and what do you think? Like, I mean, I think with those interestingly, like, you know, you know, once the show gets out there, since I'm like, yeah, you know, public about it and it's my yeah. face out there, a lot of people talk to me about it. But when you, you know, those plainclothes units, I mean, if you think about like what just went down in Memphis, yeah, yeah, it's like now those guys weren't plainclothes. Like a lot of the plainclothes units got missed, yeah, you know, because when you think about like policing that way, like trying to put numbers on the board, just trying to make as many stops as you can for whatever reason, it's like. You know, the more stops you have, the yeah. the, the more potential for, for like the it to mo- go. The O'Malley era when he was when he was mayor. Straight well, uh, well, they well they don't like it. I mean, I have I'm friends. I'm, I know everyone like in the city, and, and most of them don't like it, but they don't disagree. They don't think it was like inaccurate. Right. So it's like, for for us, it's like all right, we got the Wire, which is like uh, one of the greatest shows ever, we think, and but it it does paint the, the city in, in a certain kind of light, which we're like. What do you mean by that? So, so when people, people, when they say, oh yeah, you from Baltimore and they say, yeah, the wire or whatever. And like, we're bigger than just the wire. Like it's, we got all kinds of talent, some of the best, best artists of in course. the world are that's from right. there, all this stuff. But it's like, that's the first thing they think of. Yep. And so we're sensitive to, to that. So it's, it's like. A, it, that city, it's weird because growing up myself as a DC cat as well, yeah. it's so crazy oh, because yeah. I grew up in DC? I grew up, so I grew up in Cabin John and then okay. I went to school in Northwest. Oh, nice. Uh, I was in Spain gone uh, and, and, uh. Spingon and then uh, Chamberlain and, and uh, Chamberlain's in the Southeast. But yeah, I grew up okay. in North East, though. Did you, did you do any, uh, did you play sports as a kid? Or? I ran track. You ran track? Okay, yeah, that's what's I ran up. track, yeah. Yeah. Um, and I was on the chess team. I played, I played chess competitively. Do you still play? I don't play anymore. Okay. But I, I'm thinking about jumping back in the game. That's what's yeah. up. That's what's yeah. up. But I think like for me, like DC versus Baltimore and how for me growing up, even playing sports, like boxing, yeah, doing rivalry. all the different yeah. things, I had nothing really to do with Baltimore. Yeah. You know? But then <laughs> yeah. when I made that show... I lived there, the, you know, even though I, my, my family still lives in D.C., I was in Baltimore the whole time. And I fell in love with the city. And, yeah. it, and, and it is. There's a, there's, it, it, it's a brutal, it's beautiful a soul, place. It's a, man. Soul, it's a soulful, it's a soulful place. Yeah, very soulful city. And I love the people there. Yeah. It is very dangerous, though. Yeah. It, I mean, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's in your face. Man. Yeah. And, and, and like when we there, like I, I think about it because I, I live in Baltimore. I have a house in Bolton Hill. Uh, and I just bought a vacation house in Miami. And then okay. I have an apartment in New York. 
And when I'm in Baltimore, and I know everyone there, but I'm still on the swivel. I'm looking for the police. That's right. We don't go to the gas stations at night. Yeah, the I'm gas looking stations. for the stick up boys. Like I'm like, you know, women like, yeah, meet me here in this thing. Well, I can't meet you there. Or yeah. just, you know, I can't wait to roly, certain neighbors, everything. The whole thing. Even when I, I'm out with D, we just we looking around like, yeah, yeah, we talking, we having a good time, but we like watching the door, we watching <laughs> all that. Yeah. It's really real, man. And you know, I, I did so much of my time there. It was like three months going on ride alongs every yeah. and the cops are like that. Like you'll yeah. be with the cops. The cops are like, don't stop at this light, yeah, like, yeah. just keep going. You right, know what yeah. I mean? And they're like, Yeah, this street, it, it done, it done. Like there were dudes who like told us. You know, we'd be in a in a police car and motherfuckers would be like tapping on the hood and be yeah. like, Y'all gotta get the get fuck out of, on. Yeah. yeah, yeah, this yeah. ain't for you right here, you know. And and uh yeah, man, but 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 yes, there's so much uh beauty there and the soul there. It's yeah. it's 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 uh palpable and it's alive. I'm excited. I saw my homie uh Wes Moore. Uh, yeah, he Wes. did the show. Yeah. yeah. So he he wrote the intro to my book. I saw which that I get, and um I I am I know the mayor, uh but I'm more, I'm super excited that Wes is in charge. I've been a friend with for him uh, a long time. We've been through all kinds of stuff together, uh, but I think there's there's real hope for our, our city, but also for for the state. Agreed. So, yeah. So Agreed. I'm excited about that. He has the ability to attract talent. He's smart. He's strategic. Yep. Yeah. So and he's like, been through it, man. Yeah, he's, he's been, been through it. Yeah. He's been through all elements. And yeah. like, yeah, I don't know, man. I'm um. You, you know, politicians scare the fuck out of me. me too. And I, I yeah. just like I'm kind of just like I like I, yeah. I, I just kind of tapped out of that. But when I met him, um, you know, my best friend growing up uh, wor works with him. Okay, and uh, was a kid I played football with. You know, and Wes came from playing football as well. Nice. And and um and then that book is just like again, I think it's 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 similar to 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 D. It's just the the book was written with such with such empathy and yeah. such like i mean that's kind of like the whole root of everything west was doing you yeah know, there for the grace of god go i you know and and um i i i thought that was beautiful but 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 do you i mean i'm just wondering for me this ain't even about the show yeah yeah you know, like, but like do you identify as a dc cat or a baltimore cat it's a good question uh and i'm gonna tell the truth and i'm gonna get in trouble for it <laughs> baltimore really yeah and my family like so my family I grew. I was born and raised in Washington D.C. They just, my my cousin just called me yesterday. Said, "I don't know why you rep in Baltimore. Why you moved there? You born here? You from here?" Yeah. And it's like, but I like I haven't been there like in a while, and there's no love for me. And I said, the city's been gentrified, and it has been, and, and they pushed everyone out. And then you know, like you know, it's just it's just not the same. What so what, what neighborhood did you grow up in? I grew up in Northeast, uh -huh. like uh, Lincoln Heights area, Lincoln uh, Heights. Division a Division Avenue, yeah. um, East Capitol Street, yeah. like in that area, like back in the old DC. But back, so what, what uh, like nineties? Yeah, eighties, late eighties. So yeah, we're like roughly 90s. around the same age. Huh? Yeah. How would you explain when I, when you say the real DC? Because yeah. like you're right, man. It is for me now going back. Even when I went back to yeah, go do definitely. We Own the City. I was like, who? Like, I want yeah. to tell people to run for their lives. Like, y'all can't be here. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, I think it's, it's like, no, we got a yoga mat. Stay walking their dogs. And it's people crazy. Are like, like, what do you do? Why should I be talking to and you? That's like, just yeah. some old people shit, anyways. Because you remember when you were a kid, you would yeah. hear people be like, ah, you know, back in the day. Right. And I'm wondering whether that's just because we're old, but like, I am literally. I know there's gentrification <sighs> everywhere. Yeah. But I feel like DC has like literally just sort of like been lifted up and then replaced with something else. I agree. And, and my family, my family that are still there and, you know, kudos to them that they've moved up to the upper, the, the black upper middle class. So like they, every time I go and hang Where out with now, like that's just like, like, yeah, like Northwest yeah. Yep, and like yep. on the water and Southwest and got yeah. like nice places yeah. and everything is, is just, is done over. Nice. But they sometimes say to me, why are you doing this work? Why, mm -hmm. why did you move to Baltimore? Why are you like, why are you going into prisons? Mm -hmm. Why are you doing gang mediation? Why mm -hmm. are you like in, in, in Southside Chicago? Like, fuck them. Mm -hmm. Like we made it, look mm -hmm. at this. And mm -hmm. I said, well, what about all the people that got pushed out? That's right. They're like, for, and like the Anacostia is probably like next, like they're working on them, but like thousands and thousands crazy, of people have been pushed to Peachy County, yep. um, Charles County, uh, maybe not Montgomery County, but maybe some. But that's like, and then it's and then it's over. It's checkmate. And now most people can't afford. Like the people that we grew up with, they can't afford to live here. That's right. They changed the names of our neighborhoods. Y'all okay with that? It's crazy. And yeah. they just like, but we made it. Yeah. yeah. I'm just like I'm just not comfortable. That with doesn't it. sit well with you. Yeah. yeah. 
I'm gonna get a workout in a little bit with my man Eric Linden, stunt coordinator from The Punisher. He's coming all the way up because we're about to get after it. And when that's done, he asked me in the car, are you gonna have my shake ready? And I know what that means. Am I gonna have my Sun Warrior shake? They've got the active protein, but they also have this collagen protein, which is amazing. They also have uh, the Warrior blend, which is a little bit lighter if you're trying to cut. And uh, I believe in it. I believe in that Sun Warrior stuff. Go to www.sunwarrior.com slash real ones.